fraudulent transactions. How to detect and best practices to prevent them. The goal of this video is to cover some of the common fraudulent transaction types, the best practices to help reduce the potential of fraudulent transactions, how to spot them when they do occur, and how your merchant service provider can help. Friendly Fraud Transaction Chargebacks Chargebacks are when a cardholder or the cardholder's issuing bank disputes a transaction to a payment card. In the instance of a friendly fraud chargeback or a cardholder-initiated chargeback, the cardholder may unknowingly or knowingly file a dispute on a charge that may actually be legitimate. Friendly Fraud Transaction Chargebacks Best Practices Generally, good customer service, easy and clear return and refund policies, and good product or service practices help reduce the potential of friendly fraud chargebacks. Moreover, a merchant can be sure to have appropriate transaction descriptors, supply customer support contact information, and implement CVV and AVS verification systems. Fraudulent Transactions and Identity Theft Not all disputes are a result of friendly fraud chargebacks. But rather, stem from other fraudulent methods like stolen cards or identity theft, to name a few. So, you may be asking yourself, what are fraudulent transactions? A fraudulent transaction is an unauthorized use of an individual's accounts or payment information. Fraudulent transactions may result in the victim's loss of funds, personal property, or even personal information. What are the best practices to minimize fraudulent transactions? There are plenty of ways to help reduce the chances of receiving chargebacks especially in the card not present environment. It is recommended to have multiple ways to validate the cardholder and the validity of the transaction. Such verification processes could include ensure EMV liability, verify identification, signed invoices, validate the CVV, validate the address, PCI compliance. Maintain PCI compliance. One of the biggest security solutions minimizing fraudulent transactions would be maintaining PCI compliance. The major card networks have rules and regulations that they have implemented for all merchants accepting digital payments to comply with. Keep in mind, PCI compliance is not a legal requirement. However, if a merchant were to not maintain PCI compliance, they will be subject to penalties such as Network fines higher processing fees, information leaks, revenue loss, legal battles, merchant account closure and loss of customers. Having a payment verification process in place will surely save you headaches and financial distress down the road. You can implement security features by reaching out to your payment processor for PCI compliance assistance. Additionally, well-trained staff can help keep your business fraud free. To learn more visit us at ecspayments.com or give us a call at 866-651-8724.